guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new if you are new thank you so much for stopping by and if you are a returning subscriber thank you as well I'm really thrilled that you all take the time to click on these videos and watch them it really means the world to me thank you so much anyways I don't think I introduced myself but my name is Nikki and I am glad you're here and today I'm going to be doing my Q&A I was going to do it in a cleaning video, but I've been having a lot of problems editing those, so I just figured I would just go ahead and do a set down and get it over with, because I said I was going to do this like two months ago, I think. Oh well. <laughs> and if you are an old subscriber, then you know I cut my hair. I cut 22 inches off, and I absolutely love it. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get right on in to this Q&A. Before we get into it, I do want to say that usually, you know, on Fridays, I have a what's for dinner that goes up, but this week, I, we ended up going out to eat one night, and then one night, some things came up, and I ended up not cooking, so then I only had two meals, and I just decided I would go ahead and wait and do one next week instead of just having two meals. And I would go ahead and get this Q&A put up. So that's why there's no what's for dinner this week. And now we're ready to get started. Question number one. What's the most fun part of Christmas to you? See, that's how long it's been since I said I was going to do this. And the funnest part for Christmas for me would be just hanging out with family, getting everybody together and hanging out and just enjoying each other. You know... There's a lot of times throughout the year where you don't get everyone together. You may see one person on one day and then someone else the next day. You know, so it's just nice having everyone together and getting to spend time with them. How old are you? I am 22. Um, do you have any siblings? Yes, I do. I have two older brothers and then I have... A younger sister I was trying to think of their age I think my oldest brother is 33 I think and then my next brother is 27 and then I'm 22 and then my sister is 18 do you have any children no I do not have any children but I have fur babies and they are like children to me. I have a Chihuahua. He is 10 or 11. We're not exactly sure what his age is, but he's 10 or 11, and he is a actually a miniature Chihuahua, and his name is Paco. And then I have a one-year-old bloodhound. He just turned one in December, and his name is Dammit because he was a damn it when he was a puppy the puppy stage was rough with him so that's what his name is and oh my gosh they are like babies to me I will put pictures of them up Paco over here and damn it over here okay next question favorite movie um I don't really have a favorite movie and you're probably thinking what but I don't really get into watching TV or movies I just can't, just sitting there, like, being still, trying to watch something, I can't do it. Like, I have to, I'm one of those people, I have to be up doing something. So, I can't really, like, sit down and actually get into a movie. So, I don't have a favorite movie. Favorite color. My favorite color, I would say, it actually just depends what it's on. Like, all my kitchen stuff is red, and I like red, my red pots. Um... It really, I don't know, like, I like red, I like teal, I like pink, I like purple, but, you know, for it to actually be a favorite, it just depends what it's on. Favorite TV show, like I said, I don't have one because I don't really get into watching TV. Um, I was trying to think if I actually did sit down to watch something what would it be? And I do like the show Friends and King of Queens. 
so there's two TV shows that we I guess we could consider favorites because if I was actually going to sit down and watch something, that's what it would be. What's your favorite dish for the holidays? Um, my favorite dish for the holidays is sweet potato casserole. It is my mamaw's recipe, and I used to, every time we would go to her house for Christmas, I'd be like, is mamaw making sweet potato casserole? Ask mamaw if she'll make sweet potato casserole. And then, if there's any left, mamaw, can I take this home with me? So, she finally gave me her recipe, and she told me that it was a secret, and I better not share it. So... I'm sorry, guys, but I can't share that recipe with you all because she would be so mad. Um, most memorable vacation? I've actually, let's see, probably, I think I was like three. I barely remember this, but the reason why it's memorable is because people tell me about it all the time. So, I think it was about three. It was the first time I'd ever went to the beach. And I did something and hurt my ankle. And I was really chunky when I was that age. So, my ankle was hurt and they were having to carry me around the entire trip. And then when we got home, it got better as soon as we got home. And everyone swore that I was faking it. I just wanted to be carried. But I did not fake that. My ankle was really hurt. And that's just, I guess why it's so memorable is because people will be like, yeah, you, you faked it. No, I did. And um, if you could live anywhere besides Tennessee, where would it be? Um, I would probably move. I don't know. I always said that I would move to Florida. But then... I learned that there's like a lot of hurricanes and stuff there. So, I don't know about that. I would probably still move there and hope that a hurricane didn't come my way. But I think it would be really nice to live that close to the beach. And I'm sure people that live close to the beach are thinking, I do not want to live next to the beach. I want to move out of here. But for me, I would like to live close to the beach. What time do you go to bed and what time do you get up? It varies some nights we go to bed at like 8 o'clock, 7 o'clock, and sometimes we stay up till 10, 11. I don't, we really don't stay up past 11 anymore. And at what time do I get up? Some mornings I will get up around 5, 4, 45, 5. And some mornings I won't even get up till about 8.30. But I cannot sleep past 8.30. And used to, I would. Used to, I would sleep till about 10. But, you see, the bloodhound. Damn it. He's on a schedule. And he likes to be fed early in the morning. And he likes to be fed in the evening time. I feed him as soon as I wake up. So, if I wake up at like 8.30, I will go out there. First, I start a pot of coffee. Then, I go out there and feed him. And then, I come back in and enjoy my coffee. And when I wake up around 5 o'clock, I usually go out there as soon as it gets daylight. So, about 7.30, 7.45. And then, I always like to feed him about 5 or 5.30, somewhere in between there. And there you go. That's his feeding schedule. Um, next question is, how far do you have to drive to go shopping? Um, to go like grocery shopping, about 10 minutes away, but to actually go like shopping for clothes and stuff like that, the closest mall to me is about 30 minutes away, so yeah, give or take 30, 35 minutes. If I want to go to Target, I have to drive all the way 45 minutes away, and that really irritates me. I wish they would put a Target closer to me, but I don't ever see it happening. Do you like to eat out? Yes, I love going to eat out. My favorite restaurant is Texas Roadhouse. I could eat there every night of the week, and I would be perfectly happy. I just... I love their steaks. I love their sweet... Or not sweet potatoes. Baked potatoes. Their sweet potatoes are good, too, if you get it loaded with the mash or the um, marshmallows, brown sugar, 
and butter. Oh my gosh, that's good. But I like to get just the regular baked potato with the bacon bits, sour cream, and butter, and shredded cheese. That's a good potato. How did you and your man meet? We actually were family friends for a really long time, so we pretty much knew each other. And then we decided, you know what, let's give this a try, and here we are today. How long have you been together? We've been together about three years, and they've been really great three years, and I'm very happy, and I assume he's happy. I hope he's happy. <laughs> he seems happy. Um, but yeah, we're very happy. It's been very great three years, and yep. So that is it for this Q&A, and I really appreciate you all asking the questions and wanting to get to know me better. So, yeah, um, I'm going to end this here because that was the last question, and I'll see you all in the next one, which will probably be my grocery haul on Monday. Hopefully, I can get it up if I don't have problems editing it like I have been with everything else. So... I'll see you then, and if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn your bell on so you don't miss anything, and give this a big thumbs up, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!